Hi Aquarius, this is your soulmate reading for August 2020. So we are going to have a look and see what is coming through and also what messages and information is also coming through as well. So we're definitely going to take a look um, and see. So this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. If you would like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading with me, information will also be down below. They are done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention is my intention bracelets and items are on my Etsy store. So definitely do check those out if you are interested. I'm actually wearing a soulmate one and also a love one here as well. There's so many different ones, evil eye, protection, confidence, Confident, confident, yeah, confidence, health, happiness. Um, they're meditated with, they're sage, they're handmade, and they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. There's also um, crystals, necklaces, anklets, and also embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, in your wallet, or your purse. So definitely do check all of that out if you are interested. And yeah, so that's what we've got there. Okay, and if you want to see the review section to see how other people have seen results of these items, do check that out. That's also linked down below so you can go to my Etsy store and then check that out and international shipping as well. Okay, so for this reading, we are also using charms, which I'm super excited about, Aquarius, and also um, some letters as well. So that might really help you in regards to the reading. So we've got here some cards that have flipped over. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is this? Just look at this, you've got the Ten of Cups, okay, you've got Justice here, you've got the Five of Pentacles, and you've also got the Wild Card. Things are coming together for you. I just see this source of happiness, I see this source of fulfillment, this source of joy. Like, if you have felt really left out in the cold, or you've just felt so, like, left by a person, like, this is the month where you're going to find so much happiness and so much joy almost as though you're going to find it so much more within yourself, especially with the world card, which is your structure, your routine, the things that you're doing. Um, and you're just going to find so much more fulfillment within yourself to the point where, you know, you're just going to be like, this is my life. Like it's mine to live. I feel so good within myself. Like this is, this is me. This is my life. And then what tends to happen is that the world card with justice here is going to bring your soulmate in, okay? Especially for those of you that are single, your soulmate is coming in. For those of you that have tricky situations with your soulmate or really difficult situations with your soulmate, this is allowing things to sort of progress and become much more, what's the word, um, <laughs> much more progressive and much more better as well. So yeah, it's, it's almost like things are working out, you know, things are just naturally working out, you know, fives in tarot are all about change, the five of pentacles is temporary because you've also got the church window as well, which represents hope and optimism, so if you've really felt let down by someone and left in the cold by someone, here you are in August being like, nope, I'm not living, I'm not going to live in this misery, I'm not, I'm going to take matters into my own hands, I'm going to build my own amazing routine and structure in my life, I'm going to feel good, I'm going to feel happy, I'm going to feel progressive, I'm not going to sit here being sad over this one person that's like literally controlling my life when there's like how many other billion people there are, I, I wonder, I forgot how, how much the count went up to because I feel like it always changes, like the population keeps changing, um, is it seven, seven billion now? It could be higher, it could be. Um, but you're just going to be like, wow, you know, I'm worrying over one person when there are that many people here. And you know what that does? Energetically, you send this sort of big wave to your soulmate and they just start to worry and then they come back into the picture. It's literally what's happening here. Okay, justice. The scales start to balance out. It's that sort of energy of karma as well, right? Where what you put in, you get back. It's crazy, but it's amazing. King of Cups, there you go, see? Strength card, you've got this, okay? You've got this Aquarius. Two of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Death card. So you may have felt like you really just lost them and then that just makes you feel like, oh, oh my God. You know, so you might marinate in that energy for a little bit of time and then you'll just be like, hell no, I'm not going to sit in this and wallow. 
Um, for some of you, this might be, you know, the second, third time that you've had to sort of deal with this energy where, you know, it's sort of like either they disappear or they, they're being withdrawn or they say, no, it's not working out or I need more time to think. And you're just like, really? Like, really? Again? Because um, for some of you, it is again. It's almost like history repeats itself. And um, I feel like you're going to detach and you're just going to be like, you know what, I've had enough. I, I just can't, I can't do this anymore. My, my energy just really, you know, it hurts. And then guess who comes back around? It's... <laughs> It's, it's one of those things, I'm, I'm telling you, it's almost like history was repeating itself. And for those of you that are single, you have the opportunity to attract in your soulmate because you might have also been stuck in a situation where it was almost like history was repeating itself, okay? So, yeah, I really feel like history um, is going to repeat here. But um, the strength card is showing also that Leo energy, you know, as we do have in August, which is quite strong, in all honesty, because it shows this fiery energy, um, and it also shows that you've got this, okay? You are stronger than you realise, and you can't let one person, like, just control your entire life, because you're also your own person, and um, that's just so, so important, and it's it's hard if you're, like, um, a, a very, like, an empathic person who just understands other people's energies. It can be so difficult and so hard, you know? It can just be so, so um, challenging. But you've got this, okay? You're so, so strong. In fact, having empathy is and being vulnerable is such a strength in today's day and age because so many people run away from that energy. And you know what? That's their karma to deal with. But hey, look, things are resolvable here, okay? I just want to say that as well. Because you have got the Five of Cups, okay? Five of Cups is sadness. So again, Fives and Tarot showcase change. See, it's almost like the minute you start to really just move on and be in your own energy and you detach and you're like, hell no, I'm not going back into that. It's too much. This person starts to pursue you and come back around. So it's like history just repeats. It's like, you know, it's like you go on one side and then they just come back around. So it's the energy, okay? So I'm going to pull some charms now. These are the ones we've got here. Oh, this charm keeps coming out so much, and it is the charm of the scales, okay, which I'm not surprised could buy, because you have got the Justice card, which is Libra energy. You've got, um, again, Libra coming through here as well. So you might be dealing with a Libra, or you might have, um, you know, Libra somewhere high up in your chart, you know, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or maybe they do. Um, but in general, if it doesn't resonate with the Libra energy, that's okay, because what this is showing is balance, right? Things have to be balanced. Things have to be mutual. You can't be fighting for someone who disappears whenever they want to, or, um, you know, you're in a situation that just feels really challenged and you feel like, wow, you know, I can never sort of do what I feel is necessary because that's not healthy, right? So things have to be balanced. And it's almost like when you find your balance, when you find your inner peace, you see this woman holding the two wands, feeling balanced, that's when you're going to feel, you know, really good. And that's when they come back around. And it's like, really? So it's almost like history repeats, right? So you've got the scales. You've also got the, the moon here, but in the green, right? So this here is really showing, this crystal here is really showing that you are very intuitive, right? And that there is a spiritual connection between the two of you because there's a soulmate connection, but it's also showing like cycles and phases, okay? The two of you seem to go through cycles and phases quite often. So it's also about opening up your heart chakra to yourself, okay? Self-love, not proving this to them, not proving this to your family or your friends, but proving this to yourself, that you have lots of love to give and lots of love to share and that this is about you, okay? First and foremost, you've also got an angel here as well. Look at how beautiful this is. It shows that you're being protected by your angel angels and your guides. So if you ever feel left out, lonely, upset, pray to them. They're there for you, okay? And they will help you because they will help those that are always, you know, just so, like you're a giving, loyal, kind person. They will help you, okay? And then you've also got a pine cone. This could resonate with some of you, um, you know, in regards to a season, perhaps when you met them or there's something about pine cone that could just really mean a lot to you. Perhaps they sent you a pine cone or, I don't know, there could be some kind of memory related to that. Okay, so now I'm going to get the letters out. This could be initials or it could spell out a word. So do let me know in the comment section below how it resonates. We've got an L. We've got a J. We have a O. We have an R. And a H. And a Z. Or a Z. <laughs> it depends where you live. W. And an F. Okay, so um, I've got a four, which is F O R. Mm, 
you've got a low as well. You know, you might be feeling quite low. But yeah, this could be initials as well. Okay, so that's what we've got there. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments section below, um, you know, if the letters here do make sense to you, but, um, you know, obviously that will be for some of you. You can always pause the video and just have a look as well, okay? So this is your reading, and definitely do take care of yourself as well, Aquarius, all right? Everything's always in the description box below as well. Bye!